The U.S. is pushing for independent sanctions on Chinese institutions that aid North Korea's economic activities as well, as the list includes large state-run banks. So if approved, the repercussions could be felt in the Chinese and the global economy as well. Yi Jong-yeun explains further. Members of Congress and U.S.-based North Korea experts are calling for firmer actions by U.S. President Donald Trump to really up the pressure on the regime. During a briefing last week, Chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee Ed Royce urged the government to take measures toward imposing sanctions against Chinese institutions that are complicit in illicit dealings with North Korea. Earlier this year in April, he emphasized the need for legislation that would give the Trump administration the ability to bring sanctions on the regime. There's additional legislation which we're going to move very quickly that will also choke off some of the hard currency that this regime uses for its nuclear program. In his committee's letter to the administration, Royce listed several large Chinese banks that could be targets for sanctions, including the Chinese Agricultural Bank and the China Merchant Bank. Until now, the Trump administration has held back on pressuring China as it had hoped Beijing would help curb North Korea's aggressive behavior. Back in July, Trump tweeted that he is very disappointed in China for doing nothing with North Korea, and the U.S. placed sanctions on a small Chinese bank, a Chinese company, and two Chinese individuals because of their ties to North Korea. But the actions being proposed now are much bigger, and if taken, would entail a high risk, as sanctions against large Chinese banks, essentially arms of the Chinese government, could have systematic consequences for the global economy and could hurt the U.S. economy as well as North Korea. But as North Korea picks up the pace of its nuclear program, Congress and North Korea experts are calling for the Trump administration to also change pace rather than relying on previous tools. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.